Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out Windows 10 KB5001716 again, which is an update they roll out every couple of months or so uh, to make sure that the operating system is upgraded to a supported version. And the update rolled out today in my region on the 11th, so that means that Microsoft must probably push that out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 10th. So that's KB5001716. And as mentioned, Microsoft does push this update out periodically. And the last time I received it was back on the 15th of May, KB5001716. And I have seen one or two comments on the channel that some of the viewers of this channel are also seen this update roll out to their devices. Now, um, it is supposed to roll out for Windows 11, 21H2, which I don't run. I'm upgraded to 24H2. So um, if you are running 21H2, you most probably would see this update roll out to your Windows 11 device. But otherwise, over and above that, it's mainly for Windows 10, ranging from uh, 2004, 20H2, 21H1, 21H2, and also 22H2, which according to Microsoft is the last version of Windows 10. Now, first of all, a couple of uh, things about the update. Uh, it's a small update. It gets installed automatically onto your device, and up until, um, up until this stage, I haven't had to restart my device ever for this update, and it cannot be uninstalled. This update cannot be uninstalled. And something else to take note of is that um, Microsoft says the update includes a new user interface UI functionality for Windows Update in Windows. Now, they say this every time the update rolls out, and I never see any updated user interface for Windows Update. So I think they need to maybe update their uh, change log for this update. But nonetheless, um, when the update is installed, Microsoft says that Windows may attempt to download and install feature updates to your device if it is approaching or has reached the end of support for your currently installed Windows version. So basically, this is an update they roll out, as mentioned, to make sure your OS is upgraded to a supported version. So it's really a under-the-hood update, which is just a maintenance update, as mentioned, trying to keep your device upgraded um, to a supported version. Now something else uh, to take note of with this update, just a quick recap, is if we head to our apps and our apps and features, it installs a small little tool. If you scroll down to the bottom, this is the tool. Update for Windows systems, KB5001716. Very small, 860 kilobytes, so it's not even one megabyte in size. Now, the update cannot be uninstalled, but this tool can be uninstalled. And as mentioned, this tool, what it does is it just uh, makes sure that um, your your um, OS is um, upgraded to a supported version. So that's what this tool is doing in the background. And something else is that after this update is installed, what this tool will also do is Windows may periodically display a notification informing you of problems that may prevent Windows Update from keeping your device up to date and protected against current threats. So Microsoft does give us an example saying you may see a notification informing you that your device is currently running a version of Windows that has reached the end of its support life cycle or that your device does not meet the minimum hardware requirements for the currently installed version of Windows. So if you don't want to see all of that that I've just described, uninstall this tool, but I always leave it uh, installed. I haven't had any issues with this. Um, I know I, I am on the latest version of Windows 10 22H2, and I haven't had any problems with this tool being installed or the update, so I just really just let it do its thing. But you can uninstall that if you have an issue where you don't want to see those notifications, as an example, if you're not up to date with your Windows 10 device. But nonetheless, uh, just push in uh, putting it out there that Microsoft has um, pushed this update out yet once again to make sure that your operating system is upgraded to a supported version. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.